Welcome to Capella Festiva's first ever virtual concert, Put One Foot in Front of the Other, featuring the Chamber, Treble, and Cor Capriccio Children's Choirs. My name is Christine Howlett. I am the Artistic Director. We are delighted to offer you this virtual event, which presents a snapshot of what we did, but it certainly doesn't capture everything. These virtual performances are really a small part of what we experienced together. One thing we discovered was the importance of the camaraderie and support that we found in our virtual environments every week. Being able to connect with one another, see each other's faces, see each other laugh, even if we were muted, was just as important as the music that we worked on. There is no question singing via Zoom is challenging, and it's truly the opposite of what choral singing is all about. Any singer will tell you that. But when confronted with the alternative of doing no singing at all, we knew, Capella, our board, our teachers, we all knew that we needed to find a way to proceed, and we did. We begin today's virtual concert with um, the final movement from Bach's iconic B minor mass. This was the last piece that we had the opportunity to perform with Randall Craig Fleischer, the conductor of the Hudson Valley Philharmonic. We are forever grateful for the opportunities that he gave us, the Bardavon staff, and the HVP gave us over the years. He has an amazing legacy, and members of Capella came together to create this virtual performance in honor of his legacy. Dona nobis pacem, grant us peace.
Hello, my name is Elizabeth Clifton. I'm the director of the Cor Capriccio Children's Choir, the youngest in the Capella Festiva family of choirs. And I'm delighted to tell you about the first of our two songs that you'll be hearing. We recorded it last fall in fall of 2020 for the early December Lessons and Carols service at Vassar College. And this piece is called Rise Up, O Flame. It was written by Christoph Pretorius in the late 1500s. So a very old piece and the theme of the song resonates through the years. Rise up, O flame, by thy light glowing, show to us beauty, vision, and joy. And the song helps us remember that even in the darkest of times, we look to the light to show us the way. I hope our version of this song gives you a little bit of light in your day today. And thank you to my wonderful singers. The poet Christina Rossetti published A Christmas Carol in 1872, and in 1906, Gustav Holst set this text for the English hymnal, and this is the melody that we now know today. In the first and second verses, Rossetti depicts Jesus' birth in Bethlehem, the angels in attendance, and Mary's love for her newborn child. The third verse is more introspective, with the singer asking, what can we do to show him our love? When looking for a piece to do for our first virtual performance for Lessons in Carols, I could not think of one that was more beautiful. I hope that you enjoy In the Bleak Midwinter.
This next piece is by my colleague, Brian Mann, who recently retired from the Department of Music at Vassar College. Brian was an associate professor. He taught a music history and music theory, and he was also a phenomenal jazz pianist and a phenomenal musician all the way around. Um, and I discovered last year that he also composes. So <laughs> uh, my colleague Eduardo Navega programmed his piece with the Vassar College Choir for Lessons and Carols last year. I heard it, fell in love with it, and I knew I wanted to do it with Capella Festiva this year. And so we are delighted to have put this together and in this virtual format. And uh, I just wanna say thank you to Brian for letting us do it. Um, and also congratulations on your retirement. Marty Reiling. I'm president of the board of directors of Capella Festiva and I sing in the bass section of the chamber choir. I want you to know that every one of us at Capella appreciates that you took the time to join us at this virtual concert which pulls together many of the songs that our choirs have been working on since the arrival of the pandemic. Capella Festiva exists to provide opportunities for adults and children in the Mid-Hudson Valley to experience and participate in choirs that maintain the highest standards of excellence in performance and repertory. During the course of this concert, you've met all three of our choirs. Now about to celebrate our 45th anniversary season, the Chamber Choir has enjoyed a distinguished role in Hudson Valley music since the mid-1970s, often collaborating with the Hudson Valley Philharmonic Orchestra, with choirs from Vassar College and Bard College, and with many other groups, including our own trebles. The treble choir has been active since 2006. Established for children and open by audition, 
the treble choir offers exceptional choral training and experience, including opportunities to perform with the chamber choir in full-scale choral works, most recently including Karl Orff's Carmina Burana, which we did at the Bardavan Opera House with the Hudson Valley Philharmonic Orchestra, and in Leonard Bernstein's Chichester Psalms. Our newest choir, Cor Capriccio Children's Choir, provides exceptional experience for our newest singers and welcomes all interested children in grades two through six. Alas, singing together is not possible now that we are in the grip of the COVID pandemic. In fact, not being able to sing together under these conditions is perhaps the only thing that seems certain right now, because we still don't know exactly how and when the pandemic will end. But I will tell you one other thing that is certain, and that is that Capella Festiva will continue to keep all our singers engaged with songs and singing, to keep our voices strong, and to keep us in touch with each other. When conditions finally permit, we will be here, ready to sing together in person and ready to welcome you into our audiences. If you are interested in supporting us in these challenging times, please consider making a financial contribution in any amount. And please note and patronize our advertisers whose names are scrolling elsewhere in this video. You can make your donation and see those advertisers on our website at capellafestiva.org. And that's also where you can go to get on our email list or if you have other questions, including perhaps to learn about singing in our choirs for yourself or your children. Thank you. Bye-bye. I'm On My Way is a spiritual that was sung during the time of enslavement. After the Fugitive Slave Act of 1850, enslaved people were no longer safe in free states and now needed to travel all the way to Canada to ensure their freedom. In this spiritual, I'm On My Way to Canaan Land speaks of this journey to Canada for freedom. While the word freedom would not have been used in this context in the original song in the 1800s, it was used more directly during the civil rights movement. The arranger of this piece, Dr. Anthony Tracy King, was inspired by the gospel legend Mahalia Jackson's performance of this piece. Mahalia Jackson, known as one of the greatest gospel voices of all time, is also known for her impact on the civil rights movement, her connection and friendship with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., and her influence on his pivotal I Have a Dream speech. Dr. Anthony Tracy King met with our singers for a Q&A where he talked about his journey as a composer, conductor, and arranger, and also discussed with our students how they can be young activists for social change in their own sphere of influence. We thank Dr. Tracy King for meeting with us and hope that you enjoy the song, I'm On My Way.
Next, we present Louis Vierne's Curie from the Mess Solennel, which was published in 1900. Uh, Vierne was the organist at the very famous uh, Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris, and he wrote this work for two organs and choir. Two organs. Now, most churches would not have the luxury of two organs, so he later made an arrangement for choir and one organ. Five years ago at, our, at Capella's 40th anniversary, we performed this work for the first time. It was fantastic, and it, the choir loved it, and it was, it's really gone down as one of my favorite concerts that we've done together. Um, ever since then, I've been thinking about, when can we perform this again? Um, and I realized that in this virtual world we're in right now, that we could create a recording with two organ parts. So our organist, our fearless organist, James Fitzwilliam, set forth and did remarkable work um, on these recordings. So a tremendous thank you to James for his brilliant musicianship and just awesome playing. Um, I really can't wait to do this one in person, but we'll probably just use one organ.
Uh, hi, everybody. I'm Chris Silva, Executive Director of the Bar Devon and Hudson Valley Philharmonic. Um, I'm very happy to be part of this Capella Festiva stream. Um, Capella has been an incredible part of the Philharmonic and the Bar Devon for many, many years. Um, both the adult and children choruses have performed incredible music with us. In fact, the stream of Messiah featuring the Hudson Valley Philharmonic and Capella Festiva that we just uh, put out on our YouTube uh, channel in December has already seen an incredible 84,000 visits. I mean, it's a beautiful rendition of, of Messiah, and you can sing along. It's great. Uh, we hope, uh, Philharmonic, uh, Capella Festiva, we all hope to get together again uh, in 2021 to perform for you. And uh, I just want to remind you that it's a great time to support Capella Festiva. They need your support, as does the Bardavon and the Hudson Valley Philharmonic. So um, enjoy this uh, stream today. It's great to be a part of it, and I'll see you all next time. So we've almost reached the end of our concert. And I just want to thank you for listening and taking the time out of your day uh, to experience the music that everyone has worked so hard to prepare for you. That list of people includes our singers, our parents of our singers, our families of our singers, our directors, our amazing uh, board of directors, our sound editor, our video editor, um, everyone who's worked to make sure that this concert this virtual concert could be a marvelous experience. Uh, and before we end today, I want to tell you about the final song. It is again performed by the Cor Capriccio Children's Choir, and it is called One Foot Lead with Love. It's written by Oakland, California based composer Melanie Damore. And it is one of the 43 songs featured in the Justice Choir Songbook. The Justice Choir Songbook was a national project um, to, and I wanna read you their mission statement because it's part of why I chose the song for the kids. Uh, for the Justice Choir Songbook, which is, uh, can be found at justicechoir.org, our goal is a grassroots movement to engage in the empathetic collaborative and collective power of singing together to create change. When I was choosing a song for this concert, uh, it was fall. I knew that our country was facing a divisive election. And I knew that by the time we were singing this concert and recording it and performing it, uh, that that election would have taken place. I also know that uh, our young people are more tuned in to the events, the current events in our country than ever before, certainly more so than when I was young. And I knew that I had to choose a song that would be meaningful and be something that my students could sing wholeheartedly, no matter what the outcome of the election. And it's particularly important to me that the words of this song are about putting one foot in front of the other and walking forward in love under all circumstances. And I think that's a message that our young singers need to know and need to hear and need to have a song for. <laughs> I hope that you will hear the words of this song and that they will be meaningful for you too and that the song and the performance and really everything you've heard today will help you to put one foot in front of the other and lead with love. Thank you again for your support. You gotta put one foot in front of the other and lead with love. Put one foot in front of the other and lead with love. You gotta put one foot in front of the other and lead with love. Put one foot in front of the other and lead with love. Don't give up hope. Don't give up hope. You're not Keep moving on, keep moving 
next to you, right next to you. You gotta put one foot in front of the other. Keep moving on. Keep moving on. You gotta put one.